Welcome back. I look kind of like, this is like what I looked like in third grade. Um, I'm in line at the car wash. Cause um, my car, I'm not even showing you because it's truly disgusting. I can't believe I look like that. Like I really pride myself on the fact that um, I'm a very clean person. I also have OCD, so I'm, you know, some of it's like just a personal preference and some of it's just like, I have to. <laughs> but my car is a whole other story. Um, I essentially, I, I've been in it like five times all of quarantine because um, I've just been making my boyfriend drive me everywhere, but honestly he loves it, so don't feel bad for him. As time goes on, I've just been growing out of my, outgrowing my apartment by the minute. And I mean like physically, like I just don't have enough storage. I literally have one closet in my apartment where everything's supposed to go and um, and someone's looking at me. I really don't like filming when people are looking at me. It's become my a, an extra closet essentially. So it's really, really bad. And um, okay, I'm about to, I'm at the car wash. I'm about to pay, hang on. Okay, I'm back. So. Ouch. What was I saying? My car is disgusting. And um, yeah, so I'm cleaning it out today, getting a car wash, but I'm also going to a few showings today. Um, I told you guys in my last video that Ted and I are looking to move um, into a new place together and it's been intense. So I'm doing a few today by myself because he is up north visiting his family this weekend. And I'm scared. I'm scared because this um, first one I have seems like it could be the one and I get like really scared because we've now lost two, we've lost out on two places that we liked. Um, the first one being the most perfect place and that was really upsetting. And then the second one, we were like kind of on the fence about, but we applied anyway, just just to see what would happen. And we um, didn't get it because, so the realtor, the agent told us, cause he was like, I really like fought for you. I really wanted you guys to get it. He's like, it was really close, but ultimately the owner picked the other couple because they had, you guys, 200 grand in their account. $200,000 in their bank account. <laughs> I was like, first of all, why aren't you buying a house? Um, second of all, what? God, I thought we were like really strong applicants and now I'm finding out people just have $200,000 lying around. <sighs> anyway, so yeah, I'm scared. It's a very, very competitive market in LA. It The whole housing situation is criminal. Like truly, <laughs> honestly, truly. With the amount of money I spend on rent I could be paying a mortgage but um, you know in order to buy a house you have to have apparently two hundred thousand dollars so we're, we're we're renting hang on oh my god I'm going into the car wash anyway so sorry if it's gonna be really loud um, but I'm in the car wash yeah we're renting we're not buying we're not ready to buy a house um, but but we are looking to rent a house. We really want the extra space. We both work at home. We really want, um, ooh, sorry. A little light show for you. Okay, that's not as interesting as I thought. Wait, it's gonna get cool. It's gonna get cool. Ooh, yeah. Oh, here we go. most fun I've had all week. Yeah, maybe I should talk to you guys after because um, a little distracting, I'll be honest. I have to like literally drive out of this car wash and go to that um, showing. This is the one that I think could be the one. So I'll talk to you guys after and um, let you know how it goes. And, and okay, now the dryers are coming and now I really have to go. Okay, so I'm back. I really, really liked, what is going on? Whatever. I'm growing out my bangs, because they were a mistake. 
So I got this cute headband, which I'll, I'll link it in the description because I know people are gonna ask. So I've been wearing this every day. And honestly, I'm getting a headache. I just took some ibuprofen because I'm like, I have a headache for the past several days. Um, I think it's my headband. So anyway, I really like that place. I'm not getting my hopes up though because our hopes have been dashed before. The agent was like, Oh, the owners really want to get like a full market experience. I have showings every 15 minutes today and they want like a whole stack of applications to go through. So I'm like, great. So we'll see, we're gonna apply. It was really nice, like it was, it's an old house. A lot of places in LA are very old and I love that. I really prefer the older um, houses that are like, fixed up like you know with like new electrical new plumbing and like you know updates like new appliances but that keep that old charm um so i really like that sometimes you see these like new constructions and they just like gut the place and like put in just like really generic new stuff it just like looks like a home depot showroom and i hate that but i also don't like when they just like they're like, yeah, this house was built in the 20s, and you can tell they've like not done anything to it since the 20s, and you're just like, cool, the whole thing's falling apart. I'm in front of the next showing that I'm going to. I will be able to take you along with me for this because the person's gonna wait in their car and just let me walk through by myself. You know, I got like requests for you guys to, uh, for me to take you guys along with me um, to these showings, and for the most part, um, like this is I think more rare to, to allow us to like walk through by ourselves, you know because of COVID They're not doing like open houses or anything So it's always been like just me and Ted and the agent like wearing masks and stuff walking through But they tend to be like really hands-on and kind of like follow you into every room like So what do you think and it's like really annoying, but also like I get it. I get it I guess so I just feel too embarrassed to be like um, hang on like I gotta catch this for the vlog and then also be like please pick us like they're gonna be like you're the weirdo that was vlogging the whole time this one seems weird and it's because it's a commercially zoned property which I didn't really know what that meant but essentially it just meant that um, it's legal to like have a business there it's a freestanding house but I think like the previous tenants like were it was like a business. I don't know what business, and it looks kind of interesting. I don't know, so I don't know. It, it, it is a regular house, but because of like it was operating as a business, I think it might have some quirks because it's been like on the market for quite some time. I don't know. We've seen some very interesting properties and some very interesting people. We've seen maybe 20 places, so a lot, um, and again, only have liked two, well now three so far. So it's it's been a humbling experience um, to say the least. We're so heartbroken about that first place. It's interesting because when we saw that first place that we fell in love with, we weren't geared up to move right then. And we were just kind of like, always just kind of casually every now and then browsing like the listings and so we saw that one and we're like oh this looks great like let's check it out just kind of thinking like let's just dip our toe into into this and we ended up like falling in love with it unexpectedly so we like gathered all of our information gave it to the people and they ended up like picking the people who came like right before so a lot of people I hate this but they do like first come first serve and I'm like why even show it to multiple people then if you're just gonna pick the first person but then so we were really heartbroken by that because they did kind of string us along and I think they were kind of waiting to see if the first people dropped out and then they were gonna go with us so they kind of kept us on the back burner which is annoying you know like a week or two went by and I saw that it was still listed and we were still like so in love with the the house that I like reached back out just on a whim to be like hey like I saw this is still listed like any chance this didn't go through and he like called me the agent called me and was like, hey, good news. Like, it looks like the people are getting cold feet and so you might be able to get this place. Then like another two days of like sitting on pins and needles um, and then he like hit us back up and was like, oh, they just signed the lease. So we were so heartbroken. We keep now comparing, I feel like that house really upped the ante for us because 
it had such a big backyard and we didn't think that we were going to be able to find that and so now that we know it exists it's really up to the ante um and now we're like well we need a yard because <laughs> we just started dreaming about like having people over our backyard cooking out sitting around a fire pit you know one day we'll want to get a dog and the dog will run around so we just were really have this dream now that we're like we need to have like a freestanding house um, and it was a really small house like it was like a tiny bungalow but it had that yard space and it was just so perfect and private and so now that's kind of what we're looking for like we I'd rather us have like a small but private house with a, a little yard we're looking for something very specific and so that's what makes it um, a little bit tricky too um, we also <clears throat> because we both work from home we really want enough space where we can both have like our own like I can have a filming area and Ted can have an office and so that's also tricky um, because it just gets really expensive when you start like adding you know three bedrooms um, so it's like you just really have to get lucky um, and I'm not I'm I'm not lucky Ted has luck so I'm hoping us together balances out and we'll just be like average I also it's like not a must-have but it's a strong preference of having more than one bathroom um, that's more me like Ted doesn't really care but I really do just because like you know I grew up with brothers and we shared a bathroom and I'm not trying to I don't want to share a bathroom with a boy you know it's like I don't want to be like soaking in a bathtub and see like a curly pube floating around like if there's gonna be pubes it's gonna be mine okay <laughs> If I see a pubic hair on my glossier, I will flip out. Also, boys' bathrooms always smell like pee. Literally, why is that? Like, where are you guys, are you guys peeing all over the place? Like, I don't understand um, what's going on, but it just, they smell like pee. So, that's a strong preference for me. Yeah, so we've, we've, we've seen some, some crazy places. Like, okay, the most, insane um experience we had was like just last week this beautiful house like from the outside and this is again what i'm talking about you know i i, I get so angry when like these people own these beautiful properties but then don't take care of them at all and just clearly just want money like they're just like whatever i'll do the least amount of work i'll put the least amount of money in this place but i'll just collect rent because I can because this is there's such a this is such a tough market and that was like exactly this place it was in an amazing location it was beautiful it had an amazing view but it was not taken care of and so we like walked in first of all it was it was so hot and this was on a day where like it wasn't even hot out I was wearing a sweatshirt and the house was so fucking hot that I'm like I can't even imagine what this will feel what this house will feel like on a hot day um it would be unbearable they really like some of these people act like they're really doing you a favor by doing the absolute bare minimum and it's really annoying because we've seen so many properties and we know that like there are people out there that take care of the properties that really care you know you know it's like either either do nothing and ask for a lot less money or like fix it up and then and then list it for you know a fair market value or whatever it's just so stupid so like i walked in i was like oh is there like ac and he was like no nah, come on this place is built in the 20s you think there's ac i'm like um i know you can update places and put ac also it's like put a split mini split air unit in there it's like two thousand dollars you can work it into the rent and it's like you can have it done in a day i had them do that in my apartment because my apartment has so many windows it gets really fucking hot so i was like hey i'll pay like a little bit more rent each month if you do this and they were like sure and it was done in a day i'm like don't don't play me okay the kitchen was disgusting the floors were literally like pe like the linoleum floors like peeling up there was no fridge and I was like oh is there a fridge and the guy was like do you see a fridge I was like uh no but I'm hoping that there will be one and his reasoning like he was like the thing is is uh you know when you have tenants 
and you have and you supply a fridge. It ends up costing as much money to get it clean than it is to buy a new fridge. I was like, um, what? Like, what are you talking about? You think it costs? I, I don't know how much a fridge is. I'm, let's look it up. How much is a fridge? Look, these prices really range, but I'm seeing like a very basic one for a few hundred dollars. Three hundred, five hundred dollars. You think it costs five hundred dollars to clean a fridge? I've had my apartment cleaned top to bottom for like hundred and fifty dollars and that included inside my fridge and inside my oven. Like you guys are out of your fucking mind. And then he was like, and sometimes the owner, like, there was like a little back area and it had like a lemon tree. And he's like, sometimes the owner likes to come into the yard, go through the gate and just pick some lemons. I was like, what is going on here? Like, it's just so crazy. And he was really kind of sending uh, the landlord down the river. Like, he was kind of like, uh, like the the landscaping was like all like dug out in the front and so we were thinking like oh they're in the process of like redoing it and the guy was like yeah good luck he doesn't like to do anything and we were like okay we were like held hostage there for like 45 minutes and um, he kept calling Ted Theodore um, weird which is really extremely weird and bold because that's not even Ted's full name it's Edward so extra weird to call him Theodore. Then we went to this place um, that like looked really cute online, but when we got there, it basically felt like a tree house. Like it didn't even feel like a real house. Like it was, it was the cheapest construction I've ever experienced. Like I think it was like originally a back house. Like I, I can't explain it. There's literally wasps nests inside of it. We like left, the guy called us and he was like, what'd you think? We were like, uh, there were bees in there and it was disgusting and the guy was like do you think like i should clean it before i show it again like he was like asking for our advice we're like i don't know dude like what are you talking about there's a, that's a common thread of like these places are really dirty and like that's not a deal breaker because it's like oh i can get it cleaned before i moved in move in or i can clean it myself but it also is like to me Ted doesn't think this is that big of a deal, but to me, it's a demonstration of like how much the landlord cares. Like someone who cares to like clean the place and show it and and keep it updated and fix things that are broken, that's someone that like, you know, someone who doesn't do any of those basic things is someone that's gonna be a fucking nightmare to rent from. Like this one place was like the dirtiest place I've ever seen in my life. Like mildew, like it was so dirty. Like it wasn't just like, dirty like it was like there were dead bugs in there yeah his uh, asked if i had questions i was like is it gonna be like cleaned before you rent it and he was like i mean like what like what part <laughs> i was like oh um the whole fucking thing and you know the rest like most of them were just fine but just like not what we're looking for but like some of these places are truly like we literally saw this one place that was really nice but it had i'm not even joking the front window had like what looked like a bullet hole in it like there was a legit hole and I was like oh is this gonna be like fixed before like we would move in and he was like nah that was his response nah it's like I don't know what's going on and I'm I'm not uh, I don't have my hopes up <laughs> for anything but I'm about to go into this place so I'll take you guys with me let's see Big. This is like a tiny room. It's in here. What is going on? What is this? You guys? You guys? What is this? A Jack and Jill closet? I don't understand. <laughs> There's like 50 doors in this house. Okay, so then this is. This is the kitchen. There's two front doors. And a back and a back door. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. 
Um, I'm home and I have hives. <sighs> um, I've been home for like a long time, but I was so exhausted when I got home and then I had to um, get do the applications for that place that I liked. Um, and since Ted's not here, I had to do both of our shit and like get everything together. And, and then I just, and then I just was like laying around. But anyway, I'm trying to get, not to get my hopes up for that place because we've been burned before. Fingers crossed. I don't know. You know what? I'm putting it in the universe's hands. If, if we don't get it, it's not, it wasn't meant to be, it's not our house. So, um, you know, it is what it is. But anyway, you guys, I just like fell down like a hole on the internet for a bit. Um, just like out of boredom. What is going on? The kind of like drama that goes on in the YouTube beauty community. I'm gonna use the beauty community because honestly the beauty community on YouTube is like so vast and there's so many like really cool interesting people. There's like a few really popular like um, mainstream um, beauty influencers that are just constantly like trending on <laughs> Twitter and YouTube and there's constantly like drama like there's literal channels dedicated to like it's basically like TMZ but for these like this community and it's so bizarre to me I I, I, I can't even like begin to wrap my head around it. Like I don't know any of like the details. I don't watch these YouTubers, but it's really hard to miss when it's like trending on Twitter and like people are talking about it online and stuff. Um, I, I don't know what the fuck's going on, you guys. It's like, it feels like they're living on another planet and they really are. But I just kind of fell into this hole because like so many things being circulating about, you know, Shane Dawson and Jeffree Star and like Jada Pinkett's like tweeting about it and stuff and so um so that kind of got me perked up of like what the hell is going on um I don't know these people just like seem like not cool and like not good people so it's just like can we just move on from them I don't know anyway so I fell into this hole and then I ended up watching Ta Tati or whatever I don't know her <laughs> apparently she's a really popular beauty um influencer and if you guys know you know but it you know but uh I, i'm like i don't know how to explain this but like woman her late 30s who apparently like posted a video like last year canceling what's his name james charles and then she just like posted this like 40 minute i i really want i tried to get through it but i couldn't i you guys i like this is truly insane to me i i i don't know what's going on this woman just posted the most insane video i've ever seen and it's like truly laughable ridiculous and also infuriating because it's like these people are just so detached from reality it's kind of amazing um there's just so much going on in the world and it's just like kind of sickening that that you could have a platform of that size and you're literally just talking about yourself we're in the middle of a pandemic people are dying you know it's it's an election year also, we're in the middle of a fucking uprising. Like, what the hell are you thinking? It, it's just kind of like scary to me that these people like have platforms. It's really dangerous to only immerse yourself in a very specific group of people. Like, it's like every, their whole lives are just like one big like echo chamber. So then like, everything they post online and talk about and think we care about is only the shit that they care about and it's just like we all have like normal lives it's like yeah i'm i guess a beauty influencer but i don't feel like i'm a part of that and i don't feel like a majority of the beauty influencers are a part of that i understand it's like kind of hard when you're like filming your life to create enough of a separation 
but like that's why it's like been always been so important to me to be able to separate the two like when i turn off the camera like work's done like i don't film every single thing in my life and i never will like i don't feel like i share a lot of my life i don't feel like my life is on camera and even the friends that i have who are youtubers like we spend so little time talking about it you know I, it's just so weird to me it's also just like super cringy like <laughs> What is going on? I, I feel like I just poisoned my brain for like the past hour. I, I can't get over that video that I just watched. Like I truly can't believe it. I really don't watch a lot of YouTube also. I mean, sometimes I watch YouTube, but it's like I don't really watch like YouTubers. Like I, I watch just like dumb shit on YouTube. Like I also watch like murder documentaries on there. But the beauty YouTubers I watch are more like, I, I don't really, even watch like the super I feel like these like really popular ones are like super glam who do like the contour and the baking and the you know glitter and what I, what have you um, that's just not my personal style um, so if I'm like watching it you know on my own time I'm just watching people who like kind of do their makeup the way I enjoy it or who wear clothes that I enjoy you know what I mean um, but with that being said I've recently discovered and started watching two who I would consider very glam beauty YouTubers. I feel like they're very good. <laughs> they're very famous also, so I'm just not like I'm gonna be like giving you guys like uh, some scoop. But it's um, Raw Beauty Christy I found recently. Um, and she's just really funny, really down to earth. She like she just seems like she has a real life outside of YouTube, and I think that's like also key here. Um, she's just like really, I, I really like people who are true to their like morals and principles, and she seems to be that. She's like a very glam, like she does like the whole nine like lashes and everything, and like that's not my style, but I really enjoy listening to her talk. I really enjoy watching her put on makeup. Um, I like her. Another one I just recently found, also incredibly famous, um, is Jackie Ina. L like seriously, cannot stop watching. She's so funny. I'm so fascinated with how she does her makeup, even though that's not how I like to do my makeup. I just love watching her do it, and I just love hearing her talk. One day I just watched like video after video after video after video. Um, love her you guys stop like if you're watching all these like bullshit people like just stop 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 these people are so vapid just only watch good people oh my god my cat took a shit and it smells so bad and he's just sitting there like it never happened excuse me wizard you guys my nails look so good it's kind of crazy my nails never look this good because i am quarantined and can't do pottery and so my nails have just like grown and are strong and nice because i'm not doing pottery and i just ordered some press on nails super inspired by jackie ina um she does like the real like long nails um which looks so good on her but I wouldn't be able to do absolutely anything with those on my hands, so I ordered some like short, like almond nails. I forget where I got them from. Uh, I'll tell you later. <laughs> but I'm excited to do some press-ons because I really love long nails, but I'm never able to have them because I can't have them with pottery. So might as well enjoy them in coir. Okay, I'm gonna go take care of this shit and also my hives that I have. Um, I'll, thanks for watching and I will see you in my next video.